game on. It's recording whenever y'all are ready to start. You do your thing. I will just edit it out. Are you guys still in the frame? I got y'all in the frame. Y'all can act like you you know each other a little better though if you want to. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, there you go. Oh, no, get you a good seat. Oh, you don't know each other. You got a chair in between. Ooh. It did look like y'all had a lot of space. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a COVID interview. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, go for it. All right, well, uh, first of all, professional wise, thank you for agreeing to this interview that we're going to show to our kids. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. At Quinnia uh, of Columbia. Um, so I think you, you, you were given a brief rundown that we were doing in like ethics. Yeah. And uh, this episode's gonna focus on joy. So what is joy to you? Uh, depends on how you frame it. Okay. So some 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 theologians and some traditions frame joy as a virtue. Mm -hmm. And some don't. Oh. And so it really depends on the framing. So if, if you if you frame joy as a virtue, then one joy it, 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 some measure equates to a something that's excellent. Mm -hmm. So something that's excellent, something we should aspire to. So that's what joy is. Now, if you equate it to a virtue, joy relates to kind of a, to a something connected to the human character. Mm -hmm. So it's an excellence of character. It's a standard. And so if you connect joy to morality, then joy in some measure is a reflection of human response that gives us a sense of joy inside based upon something that we do in relation to another person. Okay. Right? So if I am generous, if I'm kind, then it does what? It, it helps to foster a sense of joy within. Mm -hmm. But if you don't look at it as a virtue, and some, some there's kind of a correlation between the two. But if you don't look at it as a virtue, then you look at it as what? What is joy? Joy, in some measure, would be what? It comes from a source. Mm -hmm. It's internal. And so joy comes from within. It's already there. So the ways that we foster joy, <clears throat> particularly if you look at it related to human practices, the ways that we foster or think can be that which is within, so we can feel it, we can know it, and we can share it as well through kindness and acts of love toward one another. Right? So in some measure, joy is related to what? It's connected to gratitude. So you bookend it. Joy is connected to what? Gratitude and also hope. And so if one has a sense of gratitude, it helps one to be joyful. If one has hope, it helps one to be joyful. So if we keep them in kind of in, in relation to each other, kind of a trinity of all those things, right? You call them virtues, hope, love, joy. As we are what? We are more hopeful, particularly for young person. The more hopeful we are, mm -hmm. the more joy that we have. Because we are able to do what? The more hopeful we are, it helps us to do what helps us to see things. It helps us to see things in our life through a different lens. So in some measure, joy is a lens. It's a lens that we see life through, right? It's not just based on feeling. It's joy is a disposition of the mind. It's really a state of mind, but it's also an orientation of our heart. So in some measure, which direction does our heart lean in, no matter the situation that we deal with? Yes. Situations change, but joy leans a direction, even in some measure, when everything in life leans that. Joy is a state of mind, so I would say joy is an anchor. So in some measure, in life when we are drowning mm -hmm. and it feels like we're going under, sometimes, sometimes joy is the only thing that holds us up from feeling like we're not going to be. And joy, sometimes we can't explain it. We can't explain, we can't explain. Joy is not like, a, you can't quantify joy. Mm -hmm. Like one plus one equals two. If I do this, this, I have joy. You can't quantify it, but you can't qualify it can go back and describe it, right? So if we were talking with young persons or people in general and said, describe it, describe joy, right? They can say, well, I felt like this and I thought like this and I acted like this and then I acted and I thought and I considered and I saw differently and you qualify. So if we were to say, young person, how do you have joy, right? Talk about joy. It's almost like a love letter. It's like a journal. It's a journal to the self. Mm -hmm. And there's a love letter in the direction of the soul. So joy, some measure would be a response to something mm -hmm. or a response to a person. So we respond to God with what? Joy. Mm -hmm. 
we respond toward God with because of God's gracefulness. So joy is a response toward what God, who God is, but joy is also a response toward what God does, God's acts. So if we are able to do what? To identify and see God's acts. That's the hardest thing about joy. The hardest thing about joy is to see where might God be in the midst of all of this? Where are signs of God's presence? We can intellectually and theologically say, man, God may be present, I can see it. But where are these signs of God's presence? And that requires a different type of attention. Right? It's, it's, I would call it the discipline of joy. The discipline of joy is to look every day <clears throat> and say, okay, God, this is a great day, this is a crappy day, but where do I see grace today? Tomorrow is not promised. I might not make it to tomorrow. If I don't, I can't wonder about that anyway. All I have is today. But for today, where can I see maybe a sign of kindness from him now? Maybe a sign of remembrance that I can remember today he must something that helped me and encouraged me yesterday. And that's the joy, right? And so I would almost would suggest for any young person, get you a joy bottle. <laughs> so you can wake up each day and no matter what type of day, when you come home and you go to school or whatever, you can just pick up something and read about, oh, this was my joy from last day. It's because it's a reminder that all my days haven't been filled with darkness. That there has been at least one day this week, or one moment, one second, that there has been a moment of joy and kindness that someone expressed toward me, or, or maybe I just remembered one of those signs. Maybe I thought about the scripture. A song, a poem, a verse, a movie, something that says, you know what, I'm not alone. And that's the real part of joy that's amazing because joy is, in some measure, it's a response to being loved. And so the more persons, or even if it's one person, mm -hmm. if we have one person that recognizes, sees this, knows this, and shows love and grace, it brings joy. And so that's part of why community in Churches being involved in local community where people have a relationship with each other. That's why it's so important. Because when one feels recognized, knows, seen, acknowledged for their gifting, right? Mm -hmm. And seen as a human, it elicits a sense of joy because now one has moved from the darkness mm -hmm. and one is now in the light. Yeah. And that's what joy does. It moves us from the darkness and it moves us all the way into the light. And it's one is the light of seeing ourselves. So we like, wow, I see me. I value me. I love me. And it's the joy of seeing our neighbors. Like, I've never seen this person. They lived across the street. Mm -hmm. Never noticed this person. And now I get the joy of being in the presence of somebody that's made the image of God. That is a joy. It is a wonderful thing. And then I get the wonderful joy of knowing and recognizing, wow, the creator of the universe, God. Mm -hmm. and that's Jesus, the, the Christian identity, Jesus loves me, sees me, intercedes for me, redeems me, cares for me. I am God's beloved. And what an incredible feeling that of all the people in the world, you can have to know that you are God's beloved. It's joyous. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know if I had anything to say. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Moss. Awesome. That's wonderful. And Thank before you. we do cut off, I, I do think I might actually take your advice for the joy bottle. So. Yay, 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 yay. And let, well, maybe we'll make joy bottles today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome.